In this video, we are going to help the snoob reach second C using the revive fruit. But before that, you can show your support by using star code GamerNom when buying your Robux. So we're done with the shadow fruit, and as promised and requested, here it is, the revive fruit. Where the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk. Hello, GamerNom is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob reach second C using the revive fruit. So again, we're gonna start grinding now. So first up, the bandits. So let's compare it with the shadow fruit. Here you can lure. So you need to lure five. There you go. Just lure five. Use your first skill, possession. And this is the first skill. It's kind of good for killing mobs. And the possession skill is not a single target skill. So, grinding will be faster compared to the Shadow Fruit, okay? So, the goal here is to reach level 10. Okay, just keep on luring, use your, use your possession. And when you reach level 10, off to jungle. So, in this island, we are going to reach level 30. We're gonna start with the monkeys. So, you need to defeat 6, right? So, my suggestion here is lure 3. There you go. And defeat them using your possession again. Okay, again, two sets to finish one quest, and after that, you will reach level 14. You just need to kill uh, three or four monkeys to reach level 15. And after that, you can start with the gorilla quest. Those gorillas are located in this island. You need to lure four, defeat them. Do it twice to finish one quest, okay? After finishing just one complete quest, you will reach level 19. Usually, I reach level 20. With just one quest but i don't know what happened here so again the goal is to reach level 20 right level 20 and when you reach that level you can start defeating the gorilla king so he's easy to defeat but it's kind of slow to be honest so again goal here is to reach level 30 so go back to the gorilla every time you have a chance to defeat the gorilla king go for it so at level 30 you can now go to the pirate village that's the next island Stat check, 15 melee, 15 defense, put all your stats on the block fruit. So we're gonna start here with the pirates, defeat 8, lure 4, same with the monkeys, the gorillas, so use your possession to defeat them, okay, there you go, goal here is to reach level 55, why, we're gonna skip the brute, but if you want, you can go for it, but I don't like those brutes because they're so far apart, Oh, by the way, before reaching level 55, you're gonna unlock the Wandering Soul. Here you go, we're using it. Okay. It has no damage. You can not also go through uh, buildings, just like Casper. Revamp, please. Developers. Shout out to the developers. <laughs> okay. Okay, so moving on. Again, if you want to defeat the Brute, it's fine with me. But to make things faster, I guess you should just focus on the Pirates. Okay, when you reach 55, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, Bobby. So here you go. Just dodge his slash, that one, and everything will be fine. Dodge, okay. Make sure to go sideways. The goal here is to reach level 60. When you reach level 60, you can now go to the next island, the desert. So defeat 8 bandits, desert bandits, 2, 3, and 4. Use your possession, possession, possession. There you go. You're gonna train here until you reach level 75. And after that, next target the desert officers. The goal level here is level 90 before we go to our next island. And you will be unlocking your third skill while grinding here in the desert officers. Wait, I'm gonna show it to you. Defeat 4. Wait for 4 to spawn again. But you only need to defeat 6 to finish one quest, okay? Defeat 6 for one quest. There you go. The Soul Ruler at Mastery 60. Check this out. This skill is so cool. Whoa, did you see that? The skull at the end of the skill. Regarding the level 90, right, that I told you a while ago, I decided to stay here until I reach level 105 before I go to the next island. The Frozen Village. I still forget to do shopping. Buy all the skills from the Ability Teacher. Sky Jump, uh, Enhancements, Flash Step, the Busu, the Soru. And you can start, again guys, check this out, 105, why? Because I want to start here with the Yeti, yes, the mini boss in this island. 
the Yeti. There you go. He's easy to defeat. Yes, he is. After that, you can now go back to the Snow Bandits. We're gonna skip the... What do you call this? Uh, forget it. This is We're gonna skip the other quest here. The Snowman. Yeah, the Snowman. There you go. Just keep on defeating the Snow Bandits, the Yeti, until you reach level 130. After that, we can now proceed to the Marine Fortress, Marine Fort. We're gonna start here by defeating the Vice Admiral. Guys, as you notice, it is getting harder for us to defeat bosses because we only have two skills for damage, right? Maybe you can use Combat or Sword to partner with this fruit, but again guys, this is a noob level 1. Gets Revive Fruit, so we're just gonna use Revive Fruit. So here we are, the next quest, Petty Officers. It's kinda hard to grind here because the mobs are located, are scattered around the island, so you need to like travel. Good thing we have the Wandering Soul. There you go. The goal in this island is to reach level 150, and after that, here we are, Skylands. We're gonna start here with the Sky Bandits. You need to defeat seven. There are four, just lure four guys. For extra experience, four. There you go, lure four, defeat them. Wait for four to spawn. Defeat four. And the goal here is to reach level 175. But before we even reach that level, check this out, Resurrection. Our last skill, Master 110. We're gonna activate it, right? So if, if ever you die, I'll show it to you. Check this out, the Brook form, Skeleton. There you go, 50 HP, 50% HP. You can also use your skills. Your skills won't increase or decrease from what I've seen. That's one extra life, but don't die while in this form because it's game over if ever that happens. So at 175, you can start again with the Dark Masters. Again, door 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you can, you can get the chest. For extra yen. There you go. Defeat four. Wait for four again to finish a quest. The goal here is to reach level 225. Stat check 122. Two, melee defense. Put all your stats on the blocks first. So next up, Coliseum, guys. We're gonna start here with the Toga Warriors. You need to defeat seven, right? There are five here. Defeat three. You're three. Defeat them. Defeat the two remaining. And if you want, you can defeat three, but just defeat two to finish one quest. Okay. The goal level here is to reach 275, and when you reach that, you can start defeating the gladiators. There you go. Just need to defeat 8, lure 4. Okay. They're easy to defeat because they're just mobs. After defeating them, lure twice to finish one quest, and that's it's your level up. Okay. So goal here is to reach level 300, but before that guys, at 250, you can start defeating Swan. At the prison island. How about the warden? The chief warden gamer nom? Guys, I don't like grinding those two because I don't know, they're weak. They don't give a lot of experience. But this one, guys, it's a different story. So I just showed it to you. Again, the goal is to reach level 300. Stat check 170 mil defense. All stats on the blocks fruits. Next up, Magma Village. Again, at level 300. So here you go. We're gonna start with the military soldiers. Guys, there are five here, so lure five if you can. Me, I can do it. Just but if you want, you can defeat two, three, two, and three to finish one quest. The goal here is to reach level 330, and with that, we can now start with the military spies. So this is a lot easier. Just lure four, defeat them. Guys, they're less tanky comparing it to the military detectives. There you go. Defeat them twice to level up, and at 350. We can start defeating the Magma Admiral. So the goal here is to reach level 375 in this island. And after that, you can now proceed to our third to the last island, I think. Okay. Okay. So the next island is the underwater city. But before that, again, stat check 2 to 1. Melee defense all in the blocks foot. Here we go, underwater city. We're gonna start with the Fishman Warriors. So there are seven here. You just need to lure four. Okay, four twice. Four, defeat them. Wait for them to spawn. Four again to defeat eight. Okay, so I made a mistake here. I lured like three, four, something like that. Okay, when you reach level 425, you can start defeating 
the fishman lord again 425 okay so i skip the fishman commando because they're so far apart it's very hard to grind there when you reach 450 you can start grinding here the gods guards so defeat seven there are six here this is one of my favorite areas why because the mobs here jump so they won't get stuck in a rock etc so leveling up is faster there you go, defeat 6, defeat 1 for 1 quest. The goal here usually is to reach level 500, but I really enjoyed leveling up here, so I stayed at until 1, 515. Next up, the Shandas. Defeat 9, you can lure 6 at a time, which is good, to be honest. Okay, after defeating 6, defeat 3 more to finish 1 quest. Let's not forget the Whisper. You can start defeating it at 500. Again, 500. Just dodge the cannon and that will serve as a go-to signal to attack it. Okay, after one attack, dodge the cannon again. Use your skill. There you go. To avoid getting hit. So at 525, okay, stat check. We can start with the Royal Squad. So we're done with Shanda. Royal Squads, def uh, just lure five here. There you go. Defeat them. Do it twice to finish one quest. So do this until you reach 575 and after that you can start defeating the thunder god NL Eneru. Go again sideways, dodge the skill before using your own skill. After you defeat him, it's your choice. Go back grinding in the royal squad or start grinding the royal soldiers. So I decided to go with the royal soldiers. And you're gonna level up here until you reach level 625. There you go. If you have a chance, keep on defeating Whisper and the Thunder God. And at 625 level, you can start grinding in the Fountain City. We're gonna focus on the Galley Pirates until we reach level 700. Lure 4 here. There you go. And defeat them. Do it twice to level up. When you reach 675, you can start defeating. Cyborg, yes, there you go, 675, there you go, Cyborg, he's also easy to defeat, don't worry, but again, check the cooldown of your skills, use your skills wisely. When you reach level 700, this will appear, congratulations, you are ready for the next world, go to the prison, talk to the detective. Upon talking to the de detective, he will give you a key, now proceed to the frozen village, the cave where the ability teacher is located, use your key to open the door and defeat the Ice Admiral. And after that, go back to the detective. He will ask you to go to the middle town. And this experienced captain will send you to the second sea. And that's it for the video guys. Did you enjoy it? Comments, suggestions, requests? Again, comment it in the comment section. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. I hope you enjoyed this video. And GamerNom out.